Hi, I'm Chad, and this is a sample video tutorial from my online InDesign course that has over 13 hours of helpful instruction. In this complete guide to InDesign, you'll design a poster, a lookbook, an annual report, and much more as you master InDesign. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks! One of the fun features of InDesign, as well as Illustrator, is Type on a Path tool. So let's go ahead and navigate to page 6 and 7, and let's draw a shape. So let's use the pen tool, click, click and drag, click and drag, so we've got kind of a wave form going here. Now if we select the type tool, click and hold onto it, and then go to the type on a path tool, we can hover over the shape where it adds a little plus sign. So if I click that, and then I can type in text. Snowboarding season is here. All right, I'm gonna press Control A like normal to select all of that, and then I'm gonna go up to the character formatting controls and increase this a bit so we can see it. And I misspelled snowboarding. There we go. And what's neat about this is we can adjust it after the fact. So if we want more of a curve going on here, we can select this direct selection tool. I'm going to zoom in. There we go. So I'm clicking and dragging this anchor point, and I can change the curve of it. And we can also add anchor points if we wanted to. We can click this pen tool and select add anchor point tool and you could click that. We can click and drag that one, adjust it individually and so on. So the idea is we would be matching this to some kind of theme like a hill. So that's type on a path. We can really customize how text flows on a page when we add, for example, interesting headlines or standalone text designs. We can also use shapes, so not just custom shapes with a pen tool, but if I click and hold onto the lips tool and then click and drag over here, hold shift for a perfect circle. Then if I use the type on a path tool, hover over, Colorado powder at Wintercrest Resort. I'm going to select that, make it a little bit larger so we can see it here. And so by default it starts off wherever we clicked. So I'm going to click this with the white arrow there, the direct selection tool. I can adjust where that begins though, so that instead of clicking and dragging these points and the paths like normal, what we can do, hover over here and there's a little added arrow there, so if I click and drag one of these over that way, click and drag this one over that way, this is the beginning of our text, and then this, if, if we click and drag that, back, it's going to have overset text. So we want that to be over here, but I can adjust it so that we can really customize where this text is. Now if we want to do really advanced illustrations with custom text, it's better to do that in Adobe Illustrator, but as we can see, there are a lot of fun effects we can do in Adobe InDesign as well. Let's go ahead and go to Type and then type on a path and then options. And from here, there are a couple specific customizations we can do. So if I click that for flipping it, it'll actually put it on the inside. So if I did that, then we could just click and drag this back a little bit and have it on the inside. So I'm gonna undo that. We can also delete the type from the path or instead of rainbow, we could do skew which adds a little bit more of a 3D effect. And then 3D ribbon, stair step where it basically stays vertically oriented regardless of where it is. And that would probably work better if we had fewer letters there so they weren't running into each other. And if we go to gravity, it's basically the same as rainbow, the default for this example because we're on a perfect circle. We can align it to the baseline or inside with a sender, and then outside a bit with decenter, and then centers right along that. So I'll click cancel, go over to this other example here. If I select that, and then type, type on a path, options, instead of rainbow, if I do gravity, see that's a little bit different. So it is different on that one. It's not different on this one because it's a perfect circle. So that's type on a path. It's a pretty fun technique. Hi, I'm Chad, and this is a sample video tutorial from my online InDesign course that has over 13 hours of helpful instruction. In this complete guide to InDesign, you'll design a poster, a lookbook, an annual report, and much more as you master InDesign.
Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks.